Behold Nack. Nack is capable of explosive growth. He will be invaluable in the fight against the goblins. Hey everyone, this is Hollander Cooper from Games Radar, and I've played Nack. And I'm Henry Gilbert, and I have not. So I have a few questions I want to ask about this guy. All right, let's hear them. All right, so has the PS4 found its mascot? Is Knack the new Sony Golden Boy? I well, he's literally gold, probably, uh, but I I I don't think so. No. Um. So Knack as a character, when you most of the images you've seen of him, he's that little cute guy. Mm-hmm. Um. But like the he grows pretty big and he gets kind of angry looking, and that's cool. But he he talks. You call it. Knack, is that right? Actually, I call myself Knack. Um, Impressive. And his voice is really bad, and his dialogue is worse. He ends up feeling almost like a Duke Nukem by way of the Disney Channel. <laughs> like instead, you oh, you expected him to be kind of like Wally, or yeah. even if he was gonna talk. I mean, the, Mark like Cerny, Clank, the guy, yeah, like Clank. But instead, it's just like he gets covered in ice crystals, and he's like, "Ooh, I'm getting chills." Off for more. Or he'll beat up somebody and he'll be like, what, not strong enough for you? Like, it's so, he has just an attitude and it's not interesting to listen to. He just is an unlikable character. It sounds like he's definitely more like the 90s school, like the, the dude with two. Yeah, I mean, if, if he was made in the 90s, he probably would have had cut off shorts and, a, uh, and sunglasses. <laughs> but I think that was like the last restraint they were able to hold. Well, okay, but it is a PS4 launch game, so how does it, like, showcase the new hardware? It, it does it really well in some ways. The One of the ways it's probably the most seamless is, like, there are a lot of cutscenes interwoven through the game, but they're super instant. You're just going in and out of them really fast, and they look really good. Uh, Knack himself is made up of a bunch of little pieces of stuff, and when he attacks, they move around, and they all cast shadows. It's not like a character model where they're clear. It looks like they're all floating there, but at the same time... Like, there's destructible environments in some places and enemies that you'll knock down, and they immediately disappear. So it ends up feeling like it's a next-gen showpiece, and then you punch a crate, and before the pieces... Like, the pieces hit the ground, and they immediately vanish, and it kind of feels like it's pulling its punches because it's like, this is particles! This is the PS4! Why isn't crap flying all over the place and staying there? Yeah, especially with all those particles seem to be made to show off, like, look how many particles we can have on this guy. We can have all this on screen at once, but we gotta make that box disappear. Yeah, and it ends up just being really weird. It feels very old school and not in a necessarily good way. Well, I mean, so you talked about how it looked like. I mean, does it look quote unquote next gen? Um, it doesn't really, it, it, at times it does. Um, it, like, the style is very clean looking and there was certain camera angles you'll look at it and be like wow that's a super good looking game but the camera is usually pulled back so far mm-hmm. and in such weird spots that it never really looks like a full-fledged game that couldn't be done on this generation except for the fact that he's made of a bunch of floating squares yeah well all right so i mean it, it sounds kind of disappointing almost it, in a way, it is it? the gameplay is kind of surprisingly entertaining at parts the mm-hmm. it's much more I said old school earlier it's much more old school than you'd expect it's not it's almost like you go back to old old like PS1 generation platformers where if you hit an enemy they die if you get hit you die and you, you even late in the game when you're a giant monster you can't take more than four or five hits before you die and then you have to reload at a checkpoint and sometimes the checkpoints are a little far away but it makes it makes for some weirdly clever strategic combat Mm -hmm. and there are points where you start off as a small character and you do kind of gain pieces from crates as you play and then you end up being really big and fighting enemies so it does have some really really cool moments like you'll start off the size of a dog and end up the size of a building in the same level and it's kind of like Katamari like that but it never but there's a lot of like gates in between sometimes so you'll get really big and then you'll walk up to a thing and some guy will go hey knack put all your pieces into this thing to open this door and then you'll have to do that so it it's kind of constantly pumping the brakes in terms of how cool it's ready to be yeah it sounds a lot like almost like a crash it, it does. It has that feeling of an older game, and it kind of con- it doesn't work perfectly. But you'd say there's a good amount of replayability? Right? A little bit. I mean, it's, it's a lengthy game. You're looking at at least 10 hours, right. um, and there's a lot of collectibles. I actually kind of had an issue with the collectibles because I looked for them really hard, mm-hmm. and you get a bunch of collectibles, and you can use them to build a gadget if you find they're randomly which ones you get, and the gadgets can lead to cool things, like you hit slow motion when you hit an enemy or something. But even after looking for all of them, like really looking for them, I only found enough to finish like two of the gadgets, and neither mm-hmm. of them were that interesting. So I feel like you probably have to replay it a lot to get all of those things, but I'm not sure you're going to want to. 
All right, so ultimately, if you can only buy one game for your PS4, do you think Knack should be that game? I don't. I was excited for it because I, I like that kind of brawler platformer style thing, but it has a bunch of problems. It's it's just not as fun as you want it to be, and it has no heart. The, the character of Knack is supremely uninteresting. I am at that. <laughs> and every other character is just a walking exposition machine where they just will walk over and be like, huh, the goblins, man, those they're still pissed about the crystal wars. And it's like, <laughs> I don't you don't end up caring about them. They're a dumb plot twist. It, it looks like it wants to be a Pixar movie, but it ends up being more like a like an older DreamWorks movie. It's more Shrek than it is Toy Story. Well, all right. Well, then what do you end up scoring it? Uh, I ended up giving it a 2.5 out of 5. Uh, I went in with at least kind of high hopes because I'm excited for that kind of game, but none of the pieces really fit together as well as you'd hope they would. And you can check out the full review and plenty of other PS4 coverage on GamesRadar.com.